from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly install some Adobe swatches, uh, swatches or patterns for Illustrator. Now, I'm just going to go over to the Applications folder. I'm using a Mac, but on a PC, you use Program Files folder on the C drive. On a Mac, it's the Applications. And just go to there, Adobe Illustrator CC, Presets, and now, depending on the uh, country that you're actually in, of course, could be en underscore something else. But I've got en underscore gb and en underscore us. And you can place the swatches in this folder. That's in the swatches folder there. Now, you don't have to actually put them into the swatches folder. Personally, I rarely do, actually. I, I actually keep them mainly just access them via the actual swatches library. So I'm just going to go over now to Illustrator. And I've got swatches here. I've actually got the swatches palette there. But if you haven't got that visible, just go to swatches. There it is. And on the right side, you'll see a little drop down, open swatch library. And I will just go then go to other library. And I've actually got the files in different locations. So I'll just select web. Graphic extras, illustrate swatches, and the ones I'm actually choosing to are Arabic design. I just select that file. It's an AI file, but all the swatches are in uh, AI files. Once I've actually loaded, and you'll see it's just reading illustrated files. I mean, you could open the file via the open as well, file open, but uh, then obviously it's. Uh, not particularly a swatches file, but uh, you can edit the swatches. So once it's just going through all that, yeah. Right, you'll see a little uh, library here. Now you can't actually edit the library, it just says not editable. So I'm just gonna create a quick design, just gonna select a simple path. Just gonna go over there, just put the fill, just set that to there. And I'm just gonna apply the swatches just like that and as soon as you actually do that they will appear in the actual documents swatches of course when you actually save this document now the swatches you've actually used will be saved with the document and I'm just going to quickly go to an object transform scale deselect that because I don't want to actually transform the object I want to actually transform the patterns I'm just going to set that down to say 25 so it's more visible There, click OK, and there's the actual design. And again, you can go run through the other designs that are in the set. And of course, you can do this with any other swatches set that you can find on the web or ones that you've created yourself. So uh, there's all various so Arabic inspired themes and designs. You find those on the graphic extras if you're interested in those, but uh, like I say, other ones can be used as well. So once you've actually done that, you can of course apply it to type and other shapes as well, not just rectangles. So hope you found this quick tutorial of interest that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel, always adding new ones every couple of days. Thank you much.